bought the tickets, um, did you believe that you were going to win or what was it that, or was it just you had no idea, you were totally shocked? Oh, I always believed I would win. Okay. Did you that's have... What actually made it, that's what actually made the ability to win was any time I played the lottery, every time I bought a ticket, I always said, yeah, yeah I've won. Mm. And basically proceeded in that fashion. Great. So you actually told yourself with the ticket in your hand before the draw, I've already won this? Correct. And did you, it sounds like you didn't buy tickets that often, but did you win other prizes before this? Oh, yeah. I used to, get little, nothing big. You know, you'd get the $2 win and that kind of stuff. And I would always hold on to the $2 ticket until the next time I actually played and would actually cash it in and then use that money to buy new, more tickets. So you're using like lucky money. <laughs> You you mentioned that you when you're holding the ticket you already believed that you were going to win, and one of the the listeners actually emailed and wanted to know if you used any visualization techniques, um, and if so, did you focus on winning the jackpot itself or on just what the money what that amount of money would do for you and how it would change your life? Actually, every time that I thought about the lottery. I would always envision what my life would be like after I won. And one of the biggest things that I always envisioned was, you know, what my house would be like, where I would live, um, what type of things would I be doing, would I travel, would I, you know, teach, would I do this? And that's one of the things that, you know, for me, I think it's the visualization and holding on to those and actually believing that they can come true helps to bring that about. It's the focus and it's the belief that can actually make things happen. But you also can't just sit on your butt. Mm -hmm, for sure. Uh, well, obviously, if you hadn't bought a ticket, you never would have won. Like you said, exactly. it was totally, a total fluke. But when you were um, expecting this money to come your way and visualizing your house and things like that, did you were you certain it was going to come from the lottery or were you just open to the universe providing it to you in whatever way it manifested? Open to the universe however it wanted to manifest. Because in actuality, in January, before I won, January of that year, of last year, I had started my own business and I was working toward manifesting that myself through hard work, you know, that kind of thing. And it was going really well. I was becoming very successful with my own accounting firm and it was going forward. And then in September, eight months later, after I started the accounting business, I won the lottery. Nice. So, so you can't just, when you, when you want something, you can't just sit and wait for it to happen. You still have to work, have a plan, and then the universe says, Okay, well, they're giving it a shot. How about we give them a push? And to me, that's what the universe did. It said, okay, here's what we have. He's doing it, so let's just give him a helping hand. So